there's really three right hand rules. So the first right hand rule is gonna be velocity of a charged particle cross product with magnetic field is equal to magnetic force. So if you have a charged particle moving like this, and imagine you have a magnetic field, then the magnetic force will be perpendicular to both of them. The direction will be given by the right-hand rule. What we're gonna do is we're going to cross product QV into B, and then the thumb points in the direction of the magnetic force. So this is when you have a charged particle moving through a magnetic field, the magnetic force. So this requires the use of the right-hand rule. Right-hand rule two is gonna be asking the following question. What is the direction of the magnetic pole when considering a loop of wire? Your right thumb is in the direction of the electric current and your four fingers of your right hand point in the direction of the magnetic field north pole. So you see the magnetic north pole is up here and then the magnetic field lines are gonna be coming out of the loop like so, okay? So the electric current is going this way. So this is the direction of electric current, right? If I was looking down on it, it'd be counterclockwise as viewed from above. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna point it in the direction of the current and the fingers, which way they go, is sort of the way the magnetic field comes through the loop. You see that? The last one is gonna be if you have a straight long piece of wire. We think about it like so. Consider this image. With a straight long current carrying wire, the thumb is now in the direction of the electric current, that's I, and then the right hand rule fingers wrap in the direction of the magnetic field. This might even be a better way to think about it. The idea is that the current is traveling upwards. So here's the direction of the electric current. So that's a capital I. And we see that the magnetic field is formed, forming concentric circles around the straight long current carrying wire. And notice that the circles are closer together near the wire itself, but they're further apart the further you go out there. Because the third right-hand rule, I would suggest, kind of has a little bit of an equation to go with it. The magnetic field of a long straight current carrying wire is mu naught i over two pi r. Because of the equation, the magnetic field lines are stronger close to the wire, but they are weaker further from the wire. This is why we show the concentric circles close to each other near the wire, but spreading out with radius as we get further from the wire.